AIM has a set of turbines powering one of their emergency generators. All right, now slow your roll there, boy. You, you know, you don't jump the gun too fast. I'm gonna proc that off real quick. But um, yeah, welcome back to the scene with your boy Rebel. Your boy Rebel is now officially back on the scene. I'm gonna let them handle that. Today I'm bringing y'all a build breakdown video for your girl Black Widow, aka Soul Reaper. Y'all don't, if y'all don't know what a Soul Reaper is, if you ain't never watched Bleach, I don't know what time machine you took or what era you went to or what timeline you went to, but you need to fix that. I'm just keeping it 100. But today I'm bringing y'all the build breakdown of the glorious Black Black Widow and her most. I love this outfit. I, I really think I'm not going to change it. I finally came to the conclusion to stop changing Hawkeye's. I love all his costumes, but this one right here for Widow, this is the best one that she has. You know what I'm saying? And she's caked up. I'm just going to keep it real. Besides that one in the 19, was it 1988 one? Let me see which one. No, I don't want that. Um, uh, This one. Yeah, 1998. Okay, so the 1998 one is by far, that's this one's caked up and this one's caked up. But anyway, that's beside the point. What am I doing? So... This is the 175 Black Widow, a.k.a. Soul Reaper build. Um, for those who don't know, like I said, 2.6 patch, increased heroics. Uh, if you want Pacifics and everything like that, please check out the links in the description for anything that I add so far as that Pacific character. Because that's what I'm doing in my videos. If it, if it pertains to that character or that player or that Avenger, that link will be shown in the description. You can get further information. I'm showing you my build and pretty much what I got going on. So, we're going to go ahead and start off with the Discord Grips. So, Discord Grips. The Lethal Vibranium Conduit. Defeating the enemy with Vibranium status effect sends the Sonic Conduit buff to all heroes. All heroes are considered Sonic Conduit receivers. So, for those who don't know, you get this type of gear in the raids. When it comes down to the Lethal Vibranium Conduit, it gets sent out, as it says, when you know, defeating the enemy with Vibranium. Vibranium lightweight apex damage. So my light combo finishers and signature attacks deal vibranium. For those who don't know, vibranium is a positive. So and it builds up kinetic energy, which is all damage dealt while they're affected by by, by vibranium. I got my words mixed up today. Pretty much it's gonna explode and do <laughs> double the damage. Then I have the stealth breaker, which is 15% increased damage when invis invisibility is active. Now this is very important for Widow. If you don't have this perk, look for it. Get on Try to get on your melee or your range. Um, that's pretty much where it's going to drop at. But try to get that because all damage done while invisible is 15% increased damage. So you're definitely going to need that. Especially with the build I have set up, you know, it's it's going to come in handy. The hero stats are might and resilience. Top right hand corner for those who don't know. I have different other gear pieces. I like this one right here with the 30% increased status damage from Shadow Ops. But when it comes down to status damage and overall damage... They have the crit damage and you have your status damage numbers. Two different numbers. So make sure you, you know, a lot of people get hooked on. They did 150,000 on gamma damage. That's fine. But without the gamma damage, how much did you do without it? So make sure you keep that in mind. When you see damage overall, that's your crit. When you see status damage, it's totally different. It's Shadow Ops, by the way. Those don't know. I have, you know, I've been, I've been working on Widow because she's Widow. So. This is what I'm getting I'm getting crossed up on. I'm trying to switch it up. This is basically one of my favorite pieces due to the fact it's full auto and how I calibrate. I wish they would have fixed a full auto because it still sprays everywhere. It's not a targeted thing. But you see the range attacks, full auto and high caliber do plasma with the Aegis Instinct increases the aim assistance for all range weapons. Now, I've been thinking about just going back to using Vibranium. This one, I, found, I got lucked up on this one. It has the Vibranium Payload on critical range attacks. Range attacks would do full auto. And of course, I have the Defeating the Enemy uh, by hitting the weak point, grants a willpower burst buff that regenerates willpower while active. I have different range pieces, but I would definitely want to upgrade a few of them. One of them being, let me see if I can find it. This one has a damage buff on it. I definitely want it. I need to get it done. And this pistol and this shock. This one has the now cryo for widow. I don't like period. I had no it just I have no respect for it whatsoever. Cause I used it one time for a build for the Widowmaker build and it sucked. I have a Sonic one. I love this one. Increases the critical hit chance for weapons. Definitely have that the um, Arsenal Bones. But right now I'm rocking the the uh Tazarna's Fury. So I'm thinking I want to use Vibranium. That's what I'm thinking I want to do. 
but I have Vibranium. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I'm using Shock, and the way I have my Shock set up is going to be the same thing. So, uh, but yeah, I'll stick with the that for now. That's part of my raid build. Uh, I have the Omega Guys, which is my proficiency precision. So the reactive payload buff it launches a regular missile when uh, taking uh, taking damage. I have the Revival Cosmic Surge. Chance of being revived grants a cosmic surge buff to both heroes involved. So I try not to go down with none of my characters. If I do, I do. It is what it is. Sometimes the game glitches. Sometimes I mess up. Sometimes I'm not thinking two moves ahead. So it is what it is. But for the most part, it's okay. It's a good little perk to come in handy if you have, a, especially for a support build or somebody is supporting you. Whatever. Reactive cosmic surge. Chance taking damage grants a, a cosmic surge buff. So basically, with any cosmic surge buff that you get, most of them regenerate have a small little burst to do your willpower and heroic energy recharge rate speeds it up just a little bit i have different plates for different situations but so far it's the heroic stats they're kind of throwing me off really not respecting them at all like this one right here depending on what type of build i'm trying to do it'll take down my might and my range too much and i'm pretty that's pretty much stacking me up to be a tank build so no now natasha's coil this is the granddaddy and grandma of all builds. Lejeune has this piece in Legendary, I think. And I see another piece that he has, which is this one. Infiltrator's Belt. I just got this the other day. So I have, I, I got the Infiltrator's Belt with Valor, Might, and Resolve. I wish it had Precision on it. And took away the Valor, because I got plenty of Valor. But it's cool. It's fine. I have it. Now, let me just say this. The first perk, Stealth Assistance and the Ultimate Assistance. Yes. If you're looking for this and you want to upgrade it, I got this in the Mana Commission. The new Mana Commission, actually. No rest for the uh, Wicked. So that's where I got it from. I didn't get it from a chest. I got it from the Ending Mission Rewards. That's where I got it from. This one, Natasha's Coil. I had this from the Red Room as of last year, 2021. Never really paid attention. Like I said, you learn something new every day. You got to pay attention. You got to surf around YouTube, look for how to or how to build or what perks. Just type it in and look. It's that easy. This generation has so much access to technology. And this being one of them on this game, you got to look. The Shadow Ops Assistance. 3.2 increase heroic charge rate when Shadow Ops is active. So when my Shadow Ops is active, that's basically my bar, my intrinsic bar. It's up, it's active, and it's going. My charge rate is just, is just crazy out the world. And if y'all seen the videos with this Black Widow... I literally went through a whole harm room mission, all five waves, invisible, never came out of being invisible, and just dominated the field. Strike Rush, restore 0.3% of your max willpower while dealing damage. And Arsenal's Boom, 15% increase critical chance from weapons. Result, I mean the uh, results. The hero stats are Resolve, Precision, and Valor. But yeah, this one I got last year, and the Red Room mission, this is one of the main uh, gear pieces that dropped for Black Widow and that was the one I, I always had never really paid attention to it until you know you start actually opening your ears and learning with the yellow ISO I'm rocking the tri triple valor which the top one was a little bit higher 7.8 increase a heroic energy regeneration for assault heroic that helps out a lot on stacked on top of the Natasha's coil then I have the uh, aerial melee pulse 15% increased stun meter build up from midair melee attacks. I have definitely have been to the raid a lot of times with her. So as you can see, I have a lot of different pieces. Um, I may be thinking about doing different types of builds so far as leak damage. Just depends. Pause. But we'll go from there. Cosmic Infuse ISO 8. Resolve Valor Precision. 7.8 increased heroic energy regeneration for support heroic. So as you can see, I have a assault heroic. A support heroic and on top of that I have a increased heroic rate charge so it just then it just just wait till I show you the skills man it, that's why this widow is one of the best widows out there uh, what was that last perk again okay so once again chance taking damage launches the missile payload that does cosmic damage and increase so I have a cosmic payload so you know it kind of helps out with the battery effect with the shock from the tip from the uh, widow's bite I'm rocking the tactagon right now um the ring of nebulon y'all on my on my hawk build video definitely this this right here closed the gap on me not getting a targeted spark so 
if it wasn't for this, I was going to get so frustrated. I kept overlapping certain perks. That's why they were canceling out. And that does happen. So make sure you pay attention to that. Rocking the nameplate, the Supernatural Black Widow. Of course, you already know what outfit I'm rocking the hooded one with the pole stance. These are my takedowns. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can look that in your own description down below. I mean, your own arsenal. I'm going to go over this real quick. I have the Dark Thorn equipped. Now, this one. I will explain this one. For the longest, I had this one on, the Shadow Gifts. You know, enemies defeated while Veil of Shadows is active, have a 35% chance to drop a Hero Orb. This is a great skill to have equipped. I'm not going to sit here and say it isn't, because I had it equipped for the longest. But you have other ways of getting heroic orbs other than just defeating them while invisible. I was pretty much wasting potential with Black Widow by having this on. When I switched to this, the 420% increased damage to nearby enemies when activating Veil of Shadow. That's how you get those drops on the bosses and, you know, your abominations, your taskmasters, your maestros. Yo, when I switched to this, check out the video I did with Black, with Black Widow. Check it out. I literally did some type of Kamehameha explosion all red, like a 10 times Kamehameha. That, this right here, that's what did it. All right, so I'm going to go over these. The Mortal Cloak. I have the Taser Dart. I've been switching it between using the fist, but for some reason, I just cannot. I don't. I, I can't get a feel for the lightning fist, but can't knock my vocabulary. I'm going to figure it out. I'm definitely going to figure I think if you jump and use it, it's a little bit better. I think I've seen somebody's gameplay like that before, but I'm going to definitely try to figure it out. But for now, I'm using the taser darts. Of course, I have the lethal bite. Give me extra taser, uh, taser darts. I have one, two, three, four. Four taser darts. I have the uh, galvic, uh, galvanic bite. This increases the damage of Widow Bite while Power Surge is active by 20%. More damage. Um, the kilowatt. I am rocking the overcharge damage. The takedown charge. The heroic overcharge. The cluster grenade. With the cluster grenade, I'm using shock. I was using plasma, but I'm using shock because I have a positive on my uh melee and a positive on my range so just in case i'm able to get that shock meter full off of dropping the grenades then yeah it's going to great battery effect i have extended magazines so it gives me three extra rounds uh per pistol six per full auto and two per two per high caliber i'm rocking the invisible status the invisible recharge. Now, as you can see, heroic energy recharges 15% faster while invisible. Now, go back in the video and look at how I have the assault heroic recharge 7.8, support heroic recharge 7.8. The first part on the coil, the coil guild piece, plus this. This is why I was doing what I was doing. This is why. Literally. Long as I'm staying invisible, I'm applying the 18% increased damage. Man, y'all already know what the business is, man. Y'all seen it. Increases critical attack damage while invisible by 15%. You can choose whichever one you want, depending. For this build, I'm running this now for melee attacks. If you want to run a whole melee build for Widow, hey, for sure use the critical melee. I'm using the critical damage, which is increased critical attack damage while invisible. This goes for anything that I do. You want to solely focus on range or melee? Be my guest. You have the heroic takedown mastery, the range damage, and the combo finishers. And of course, this is my heroic tree. Like I said, I have not put that much work into just strictly playing with Widow or any of my characters for that much to a certain degree because, you know, work schedules all imposed and everything like that. But I took advantage of the, of the quad was it two weeks we had quiet? I took advantage of it a little bit. So I increased what I need to increase just to see the difference. Now, this is just me without having this filled out. These two categories are my tactical boots and my utility boost. These over here, I do agree. They really don't make a difference. They're really just for numbers. I think it's point, point, 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 increase in damage for these categories. You can try it. But, I mean, three because it said 3%. But you can try it. I recommend filling out these areas first. Then you'll see the difference in your character. As well as if you want to work on your defense, I say try the, the middle one if you want to. Middle column if you want to do that. 
But these are the hero stats. Might's 209, Precision is 322, Proficiency is 173, Valor is 340, Resolve is 151, Resilience is 108, and Intensity is 89. As you can see, Heroic Assault and Supports at 25.0 with Ultimate Heroic Work Charge at 17.3. But that doesn't matter because I'm getting orbs, constantly getting my Heroics back. So pretty much it works out for the best. Like I say, if you want to look for a Valor build, focus on Valor with 2.6 dropping, even in the future. Just make sure you, you know, if you definitely want to work on Valor because it's very crucial. They improved everything in the game, but they focused on Valor and scaling Might and Valor. Pretty much it makes all these characters OP and broken at the same time. But this is my build for my Black Widow. This is the Soul Reaper video uh, breakdown. So y'all enjoy it. Y'all live with the gameplay. And as always, you be on the scene with your boy Rebel, your boy Rebel, I push out the scene. Hit the like button and make sure you hit the sub button for me if you would like to. I definitely appreciate it. Much love, mad love, and as always, deuces. Destroy the turbines. AIM has sent forces to stop you. Bye.